Hola, 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 buenas tardes, good evening, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, la planning diva. Long time no see. I actually just got back from a road trip to Sedona, Arizona, the Grand Canyon, Zion National Park. Definitely a little bit tanner, definitely a little bit more relaxed definitely a little bit more calm and collected. We just went on a little road trip for spring break. It was wonderful. I did vlog some of it. I didn't vlog as much as I wanted to because I it was a lot. But I am hoping that I got at least one day's worth of footage to share with you all. Anyways, it's actually Thursday evening. Today was my first full day back at work. And actually, I got a spontaneous haircut after work. I called my Ulta Beauty Salon where I usually get my hair cut and I was just calling to schedule an appointment because my hair was very very dry it definitely needed a cut I've been growing it out and I don't think I've cut it in maybe about a year a little over a year and it was definitely looking thirsty at the ends and I just needed the chop and so I called and lo and behold they had an empty slot someone had just canceled at 4 p.m. and so I booked it headed to the salon on and I got my first haircut in over a year and a half maybe and I love it so much I think she did such a great job and she was such a sweetheart my curls feel so soft and bouncy and I'm just so so happy with this haircut and while I was at Ulta I just decided to go ahead and pick up some essentials and some goodies and just I treated myself to a little beauty haul I haven't done one of these in a long long time for those of you OGs you know that I started my YouTube channel on makeup and beauty and I did do a lot of hauling on my channel. I did a lot of project panning as well but I did indulge in some hauls here and there and I thought it would be fun you know throwback to share my beauty haul, my Ulta beauty haul with you all. I know my channel is very planning focused nowadays and I want it to be planning focused but I definitely want to throw in my other interests as well and I thought it would be fun to share with you all the goodies I picked up at Ulta particularly because I do want to tie it into planning content later in the future. I kind of want to set up some spreads for a morning beauty routine, a PM beauty routine and just really focus on my self-care and my beauty routines. When I was a beauty YouTuber, my beauty routine was down on a lock. I had it all figured out, I had it all settled, I was every morning doing my makeup, doing my skincare, doing my hair care, and then I just kind of stepped away from that when I stepped away from filming that kind of content on YouTube. And I don't think I ever went back to it. And I really want to get back into the habit of doing my skincare, doing my makeup, doing my hair, and just really taking care of my body and making a really good effort to step into the world each day looking like I care about how I look. And I really want to make a solid effort of taking care of myself and stepping out into the world with a fresh face nicely dressed and just giving the impression that I love myself, I take care of myself, and that I invest in myself. I'm hoping to put together some videos detailing my beauty routines both for morning and evening and I hope that they'll motivate me to stay consistent with my beauty routines. So with that being said, I'm going to share my massive Ulta haul. I have this huge bag here, heavy, heavy, heavy. I picked up a lot of things for my morning beauty routine and my evening beauty routine and also invested in a good amount of hair care. I was talking with the hairstylist and she really recommended some products for me for my type of hair. Again, I used to be a lot more invested in my hair when I was doing my YouTube channel and I kind of got it away with it and I've just been using not the greatest products for my hair and so I really wanted to make uh, an intentional return to investing in hair products that will really take care of my hair. So let's start with the hair products. So the first thing I picked up was the Tea Tree Special Color Shampoo and Conditioner and I got these in the trial sizes. So this is the shampoo, this is the conditioner. And this is for color treated hair, but the hairstylist actually told me that it's not specifically just for color treated hair. It can be used for any hair type. And actually, because it's meant for color-treated hair, it's much more 
gentle than other shampoos. I feel like my hair is really difficult to take care of. It's really curly, it's long, it's thick. I find that it gets really oily like in the hair but that my scalp gets really dry and flaky. And I found like the best routine for me is rotating like a clarifying shampoo with a moisturizing shampoo. So the hairstylist recommended these tea tree shampoo and conditioners. I got the trial sizes because I do want to try them out before I commit to the full bottles. And also I actually store all of my bath products in a little like travel bath bag. I live with roommates so I don't leave my bath products in the bathroom like on the countertops or in the shower. I store them all in a little bath bag, like a travel bath bag. And when I'm in there doing my routine or showering, I take it out of the drawer that I store it in and I hook it on the towel rack and I work out of there. And so I really like small bottles like this because I just store them in my travel bag and then I store the bigger bottles in my room in a cabinet that I have for all of my beauty products. And then as these finish, I'll just replenish them from the big bottles. But I like using the small bottles for the bath bag, if that makes sense. A little bit complicated story there. The hairstylist also recommended this Odell smoothing conditioner. This is a new product to Ulta, she said, and it's for extra moisture, frizz control, and shine. And it's also sulfate free and it has 100% natural fragrance. It does smell good. It smells clean. She really highly recommended this, so I definitely wanted to pick it up and try it out. And I have been looking to invest in a new conditioner, and so I just went ahead and picked up the full bottle of this. The hairstylist also recommended this Curl Smith Intense Treatment Serum and she said to put this in every few weeks or so. Ugh, it smells really really good and the main ingredients in here are jojoba, shea butter, silky oat oil, rare andoroba, I don't know what that is, macadamia oil, and ap apricot kernel oil. It's a solid which is very interesting. It has like a waxy substance to it and how you use this is when your hair is wet you just rub that substance between your fingers until it turns into an oil and then you work it into your wet hair. This thing is going to last me forever so that was definitely an investment. And the last product I picked up that the hairstylist recommended was this Curl Smith Hold Me Softly Style Balm. I'm really trying to get into styling products. I'm so guilty of not doing anything with my hair and this was a really simple product. And how this works is after you shower with your wet or damp hair you just run this through your hair and it's supposed to moisturize your curls but also hold the curl and the wave. So I'm gonna be experimenting with this style balm. Hopefully it works out for me. I'm really really guilty of not doing anything with my hair, not styling it at all, and so this is going to be baby steps into doing something with my hair. One of my New Year's resolutions is to take care of my hair better and learn how to style it more. This seems like a really easy product to start styling, so let's see how it goes. I also got the baby size of this one. There's a larger bottle of this product, but again, I want to experiment with this before I commit to the larger size. Next up, I got a deodorant. This is the each and every aluminum free deodorant in the shade lavender and lemon. It smells really, really good. Ugh, it smells so good. The lavender is really strong. I don't smell the lemon as much, but then again, I wouldn't say that my olfactory sense is phenomenal, so there could be a lemon in here. But I, I really smell the lavender. I've never tried this brand, the each and every brand. So I'm excited to give it a go. I also picked up an Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. This is from First Aid Beauty. And the reason I picked up this one is because back in the day, everyone was head over heels for First Aid Beauty and it seemed like a really solid standard brand. I decided to go with this guy. We also had a tester, which felt really nice. So I just decided to go with a tried and true classic. I'm gonna be totally honest with you, I actually did not have a moisturizer at all in my routine. I guess I don't think about it too much because I feel like my face is naturally oily and I don't feel too dry most of the time. But with this last road trip that I took to Arizona and Utah and Nevada, it was so dry, 
it's the southwest it's a desert and i was so parched my skin was so parched and i kept on thinking that i really wish i had a moisturizer and so i picked up a moisturizer and i'm going to try to make it a routine to put some moisturizer on my face every morning okay two more skincare related products before we get into the makeup which actually i got more like hair care and skincare than i got makeup very unlike me if you knew me a few years back but then again i still have a lot of makeup from when i was really into beauty products and i'm still working my way through all of that so i really don't need any more makeup okay so both of these products are lip products and they're both from burt's bees this first one here is an overnight intensive lip treatment and I need it. This trip to Arizona destroyed my lips. My lips are in pain still from how dry they were. My lips were so chapped after that trip and I did have a chapstick with me. I had my Shea Moisture Squeezy Tube chapstick. I didn't have a lot left in that tube when I brought it with me and I kept on forgetting to bring it with me when I went hiking and also I kept forgetting to take it out of my backpack when we were like on the road and my backpack was in the trunk of the truck that we were in so I couldn't really access it from where I was sitting inside the cab and so I didn't even end up using that chapstick that much and my lips were so dry after. I did manage to use it here and there but not that much and I had barely any left anyway and it was actually pretty old. I've had that chapstick for about two years and so I just decided to invest in some more chapsticks and lip products so this Burt's Bee Intensive, Overnight Intensive Lip Treatment. I love Burt's Bees because bees, it's very minty. But I'm gonna be using this to rehabilitate my lips because my lips are so chapped right now. So I'm gonna be using this for overnight treatment. And then I also picked up a four pack of their regular chapsticks. And this one has the regular beeswax chapstick, a cucumber mint flavor, a watermelon flavor, and a sweet mandarin flavor. I picked the variety pack because I couldn't decide which one I wanted to get. I think I'm going to store them like in various places. Like this one's going to be in my car, my purse, my office, my gym bag, something like that. I better have the softest lips of all time after all these lip products I just purchased. I also got two nail polishes from OPI. These are their Infinite Shine 2 polishes and these are from their newer collection. The collection was super cute. The colors were bright, perfect for spring and summer. I think this is their spring collection and they were all like computer related. So this orange one is Silicon Valley girl and this light blue one is nfts me and i was really impressed with the colors and i have been wanting to get some new nail polishes and i'm actually going to paint my nails right after this video and then i picked up some foundation products i finally have gotten on the estee lauder double wear train i've never ever tried anything estee lauder and so this is definitely a first for me i got color match there at ulta and my shade was tawny but they actually didn't have that foundation in stock so the sales rep gave me two little samples here and I'm probably just going to order the shade online. And I also got the Stay In Place Matte Powder Foundation. I was really impressed with how it looked on my skin, so I decided to go ahead and give it a try. This is apparently the number one selling foundation in the United States. So I guess there's definitely something there. So this is the powder there. It's a beautiful compact. Vintage, classic, very pretty. I also ended up getting the Stay In Place makeup pump because the bottle itself doesn't come with a pump. And honestly, that's kind of annoying. I wish they would just sell the foundation with a pump. I feel like most people want it with a pump. So I feel like this is just another gimmick to get you to spend more money. And with how expensive this foundation is, I think it should come with a free pump but this is the nifty little pump that i will put on the foundation once i get the foundation but in the meantime um i picked up the Too faced born this way 
undetectable medium to full coverage foundation and I also got shade matched at Ulta and my shade is natural beige. This one has a little bit more of a gold undertone to it and I'm wearing it right now on my skin and I think it looks lovely. It was kind of funny when I was getting shade matched with the Too Faced foundation. The makeup artist was saying good things about it and then I asked her if I could get shade matched with the Estee Lauder double wear and she told me that she would call over the Estee Lauder rep that they had in store to have her shade match me. And so she came over, the Estee Lauder rep came over, and she saw that I was trying the Born This Way and she was like, oh, I don't really like that foundation. It's really oily. I thought it was a little bit funny because obviously she's an Estee Lauder rep. She's going to represent her brand. She's going to put down other brands, sing the praises of her own brand or the brand that she reps, but it was kind of funny. I used to use this foundation quite a bit a couple years ago. It is expensive though, so I stopped buying it for a while, but I've always really liked it. I hope they haven't changed the formula too much on it, but I think it looks really good on my skin, so I'm happy with it. And then I got a mascara from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a Lash Brag Voluminizing Mascara. I actually just finished the mascara that I have. I had the NARS, I had the NARS mascara. I forget what it's called, but it's the classic NARS mascara. I had that for a couple of months and I actually just finished it. And so I was in the market to get a new mascara because I only have one mascara in my collection instead of 30. And so I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag and it's what I'm wearing on my lashes today. And I love that thing. I actually have a mini lash brag that I have in my office makeup kit and I love it so much. And so I decided to get this um, full size for my makeup collection at home. And then the last thing that I got was a bit of a splurge. I just had to get this. I just wanted like a treat. I mean, all of this is a treat, but I wanted a treat on top of a treat. And so I got my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. And this is one of their newer eyeshadow palettes. This is the Rose Metals eyeshadow palette. And I was looking at it in store, swatching it. It just looks absolutely lovely. And so I decided to take it home and play with it. Pretty classic case. It's one of their standard eyeshadow palettes. I think the case is pretty, nothing to write home about, but the shades look stunning. And so this is what the palette looks like. But these are the shades right here. Absolutely stunning. I can't wait to dip into these and play with these. Oh my goodness. And that was my entire haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the goodies I got. Definitely keep an eye out for the planner spreads that are coming for my morning beauty routine and my evening beauty routine. And I'm, and I'm hoping that all of these products are going to motivate me to really sink into a wellness and self-care routine. And I'm excited to see where it goes. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for spending some time with me here tonight. I really appreciate your support and my channel. Let me know what makeup and beauty products you are loving down below in the comments. I would love to know. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, happy planning, and happy trails. Bye!